Good morning. Good morning, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us pause now to ask God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading each one of us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May your church always exalt, O Lord, in the honor given through the ages to the blessed apostles, that she may be guided by these protectors in whose teaching and merits she finds joy. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Israel is a luxuriant vine whose fruit matches its growth. The more abundant his fruit, the more altars he built. The more productive his land, the more sacred pillars he set up. Their heart is false, now they pay for their guilt. God shall break down their altars and destroy their sacred pillars. If they would say, we have no king, since they do not fear the Lord, what can the king do for them? The king of Samaria shall disappear like foam upon the waters. The high places of Aben shall be destroyed. The sin of Israel, thorn and thistles shall overgrow their altars. Then they shall cry out to the mountains, cover us, and to the hills fall upon us. Sow for yourselves justice, reap the fruit of piety, Break up for yourselves a new field, for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain down justice upon you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Seek always the face of the Lord. Seek, seek always, always the, the face, face of the Lord. Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Seek, seek always, always the face of the Lord. Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and his judgments he has uttered. Seek, Seek always, always the face of the Lord. Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Through the earth, his judgments prevail. Seek, Seek always the face of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the 12 apostles are these. First, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew, James, the son of Zebedee and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon, the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Today I just want to do a little ruminating, thinking out loud, I guess you could say. I can only do that here because 
in this day and age, everyone must parse their words very closely because if you say something, you better have it all completely thought out to the end. Mm -hmm. And I do not at this mo mo moment, but the hearing the names of the 12 apostles, remembering who they are, makes me reflect on what's going on now, say with our founding fathers or St. Jun uh, Junipero Serra or whoever else may be being judged because of their imperfections. And it makes me think of our Catholic understanding that every human being is sinful, a sinner, and graced by God. And that everything we do is a journey towards becoming more perfect and becoming more graced and moving away from sin and towards the image and likeness of God. And so, you know, the people of the past were no different than we are today. We too will be judged by our short-sightedness, our inability to understand completely how, what is just or unjust. Let's just take the issues of life that are being question today that tomorrow perhaps people will think how could those people have ever thought that way let us not honor any of them even though they did great things so it is that the apostles I think of them thanks be to God that Jesus did not cast off Peter once he denied him or cast off the other apostles who abandoned him or any of the other ways in which they were at fault the many ways that they contradicted Jesus or did not understand his teaching and tried their best to follow him. So we must do, and so we must be compassionate towards one another, not only those of us who live now, but those of us who lived in the past and not judge them only by their weaknesses or their faults, but also by their grace and how they pushed forward the understanding of justice in their own day. Let us pray for our nation. Let us pray for all of us to be more open to seeing the entire picture. Let us stand to pray. Trusting in God, we place before him these our needs. For the clergy, may they be guided by the Holy Spirit as they shepherd the people of God, we pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders around the world, may God grant them fortitude and patience in promoting and defending religious freedom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Amen. hear our prayer. For all those suffering from the effects of natural disasters, may God bring them comfort and care we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the lost sheep of our community, may the voice of the Good Shepherd help them find their way back to the fold. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick or suffering in any way, that the Lord's healing love might be with them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the people of Holy Rosary Parish being remembered at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have recently died in the light of Christ, may they be rewarded with the glory of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And if any of you have a particular intention this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, gracious and loving God, hear us and draw us into your light. For we ask these and all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Bless us, God, forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our, our good, good and the good of all his holy church. <clears throat> Put out on us, O Lord, the, your Holy Spirit, whom you poured in abundance upon the apostles, that we may recognize what you have given us through them, and duly offer the sacrifice of praise to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. For you have built your church on, to stand firm on the Apostles' foundation and to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out, as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially those whom we now remember in a moment of silence. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Grant, we pray, that we may persevere, O God, with rejoicing and simplicity of heart in the teaching of the apostles, in the breaking of the bread, and in the prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Have a good day, y'all. Sneak behind you there.